the concept of Eke Oria Afo and Nkwo unveils how magical the Igbo language is. The Igbo language is extremely magical and the concept of Eke Oria Afo and Nkwo reveals that the alchemical four elements represent foundation in Igbo spirituality and cosmology. In Igbo, they are known as Eke, Orie, Afo, and Nkwo. In the Pan Igbo cosmology, Eke represents the sun or gleaming light. Orie represents water. Afo represents soil. Nkwo represents air. These four elements dwell within us as our eyes as Eke. The water or sweat in our body as Orie. Our flesh as Aja Afo. And our breath as Nkwo. These four elements serve as the organic engine of the earth, and without them, we cannot live. In the cosmology of Eke Oria Fonkwo, they were described as four Igbo women carrying baskets and representing the star of women first going east, the second going west, the third going south, and fourth going north. When we consult the spirits after we give gratitude to Enu, the Divine Father, and Anna, the Divine Mother, we give gratitude to their offsprings, which are Eke, Oria, Afo, and Nkwa. These four elements are the cosmic particles that mix up what a human being is. They are also the particles that Chuku Atufu and Atunna Chuku used when creating the universe. Afa Igbo spirituality, Eke is Oranabo. Oranabo. Oranabo is explaining two lights, two gleaming lights, two gleaming lights of creation. Orie is Ijite Ololo. Ijite Ololo. And it is explaining potency, the movement of potency, that's what Ijite Ololo is explaining, the movement of potency, okay, Ololo is potency, power, and Ijite is like movement, and Afa, Afo is Oture Ololo, Oture Ololo, and it is explaining what the soil of the earth is capable of doing, which is growing out food, manifesting things, manifesting things into existence. Its willpower manifests things into existence. And the fourth one, Nkwa and Afa is Aku. Aka. See, Aku Aka is explaining pure spirit. Pure because wind, wind, the air, you know, we can't hold on to air. So air is like a 
is our closest experience to what spirit is. Air is our closest experience to spirit. So that's why Umpo is called Apo, Aka. Aka is spirit. Aku is stillness. Okay, so like it, it is explaining that air is the closest form of spiritual life. That's what air represents. And also air is what we use to live here with. Air, when we breathe, we are breathing in air. So when 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 air doesn't exist, everything dies off. In 2018, I created a couple of memes to help our people understand what Eke Ori Afonkwa is explaining, the things, how they can be able to see Eke Ori Afonkwa because the African mind learns better through imagery. Okay, so I, I use memes. In 2019, I created a bunch of memes in order to help our people understand what Eke Oria Fonkwa represents, okay? So that they can understand how, how deep the knowledge is. They can un- also gain the, the alchemical and the physics, the metaphysical uh, aspects of the knowledge because... Before I this this revelation, many of our people see this as just a mark, market days because that's what they were, were. But the reason why our ancestors use them to to name our market days is so that we will not forget, so that we wouldn't forget this mystery system, so that we will always have it because our ancestors did not write books. There were people that believe, our ancestors strongly believe that the Afro man and the Afro woman learns through entertainment, physical activities, and imagery and art. You understand? So that's every, all our mystery systems are recorded in the festivals, in the names of places, in our last names, in various activities even the way that we do traditional marriage the way that we do traditional marriage is linked to how a man and a woman should live how our ancestors defined the relationship between men and women but that's another story so as you can see here eke is your eyes which is your Osenabo, Oranabo, Osenabo is your two eyes. It's like a ke, it represents visibility. Ori is, for example, if you look at here, where I have a ke as a python with its mouth open, and then Ori as a python swallowing, swallowing, swallowing its food, you can see that this is actually what Ori represents. It, it is a, what do we use to swallow? What what is the process of us swallowing? If your throat is dry, can you be able to swallow something? No. The same way, if if the water, if you throw something inside the lake or river or ocean, what happens to that? If you throw something inside the lake, river, or ocean, what happens to it? The, 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 the rivers or lake or ocean swallows that thing. <laughs> you understand? The same way it is the saliva and the water in our throats, the water in our in, in the water in our th- that 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 functions throughout our body, that's what we use to swallow everything. So that's why the second day is called Orie. Orie means it it eats like in swallowing, like something that consumes something. Orie is like consumption. Ori literally is explaining consumption and that's actually what the water does it consumes things just like you see like python is swallowing things and afo is where it goes afo just like in Igbo, in primary Igbo, your stomach is afo aho <laughs> you understand then you have afo and also it is explained to you what you are supposed to have in your stomach 
That's why in Yoruba language, for example, the word efo means vegetable food. The word efo means vegetable food. That word derives from Ibu, afo. Afo is explaining the soil. Imajana, imana. You see, when you dive into the ocean, you're still going to meet Anna inside of the ocean, deep down. Because what makes up Ajana is a bunch of particles inside the ocean. And Nkwa is, for example, this python, python swallows things in order to live, in order to stay alive. They swallow things in order to, they consume things in order to gain life, which is Nkwa. So if you see here, where, where I used uh, how uh, a human being generates, how a baby generates. So Eke, if you look at the sperm, sperm looks like Eke. <laughs> you know, so Eke is the sperm. Okay? When it goes into the womb, it is Orie. It's, it's, it goes in there. <laughs> it becomes Orie. Then what happens after is what happens a baby is generated and the baby the living child in the stomach is that is living on under oxygen is a representation of unqua you understand so the evil concept of eke oria from Kwa explains quite a lot the the knowledge is extremely rich it is very very rich it is ultra rich when you in the Bible, where you have math, what is the the foundation of 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 uh, New Testament is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They are esoterically a keoria from what that's what they represent. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John does not exist. They represent a keoria of unquo, alchemically. They represent a keoria of unquo. They are a plagiarism of the four elements in nature.